In the fall of 2013, Jennifer and Ulrich Bjerke were living a perfect life. They had a two-year-old daughter, a newborn son, and a new home for their growing family. And then they received devastating news. Jennifer was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer that had already spread throughout her body. Her doctors in Boston told her there was very little that could be done for her. She couldn't accept their prognosis. I didn't listen to the doctors here that told me that, you know, there was really nothing that I could do. I just decided that I was gonna do whatever I possibly could to beat this and I understood that it wasn't, the solutions weren't going to come to me in the conventional sense and that I had to be open to exploring, you know, every possible route and that I just wasn't gonna get down about it. I was, you know, I've got two little children and I'm gonna do everything that I possibly can to get myself healthy. Jen and her family started researching stage four cancer survival and found the nonprofit Marion Institute's Biological Medicine Network and a revolutionary Swiss doctor, Thomas Rao. Why we get sick is toxic. Load, the network which... coordinated an emergency appointment with Dr. Rao's Paracelsus Clinic in the foothills of the Swiss Alps. The Marion Institute was my first point of contact before I went over there. It can be a little scary going somewhere for treatment abroad for the first time, so to have a familiar you know, voice on the phone who can kind of explain to you what you're going to expect, um, you know, just makes the whole process so much easier. While her doctors at some of the best hospitals in New England could offer no explanation for her cancer, advanced testing at Paracelsus revealed a host of underlying health issues. I learned when I got there, everything was a mess. Their lab showed that my uric acid was a mess, my gallbladder was a mess, my liver wasn't functioning properly. They could see traces of antibiotics in my blood. I had an extremely elevated heavy metal count. Um, they found really high levels of arsenic and mercury in my blood. And then there's a whole dental component as well too, which was um, really very eye-opening to me. Dr. Rao's clinic discovered a chronic infection from a root canal and other dental problems that were impacting her immune system, along with a weak intestinal system from years of antibiotic treatments. It was just really amazing to, to feel like I could start getting some answers as to why this had happened to me. It felt better to understand, okay, yeah, there's some things that have gone wrong in your body, and like if once we accept that and acknowledge it, we can try to kind of start fixing everything. A healthy, well-balanced body has many ways of purging toxins, infections, and even cancers from the system. The lungs, liver, kidney, gallbladder, colon, lymph system, and even the skin all work to neutralize and expel harmful substances. But when toxins accumulate, those systems begin to fail. Toxins are any type of chemical, heavy metal, or even foods that adversely affect how the body functions. In so many uh, places we have uh, an increase of toxic load and they come and they interfere with the cellular activity in the cellular metabolism. There's something like 800,000 chemicals that are in our environment now and they're more and more being released and we don't know how they react to our system and I think we're just overwhelmed, our bodies are overwhelmed by all the environmental factors that we're dealing with. When you look at all the pesticides and herbicides and chemicals that are being used, we didn't see levels of toxicity like this 100 years ago. Our bodies have great mechanisms for detoxifying itself. But when the toxins build up to a certain extent, our body sort of backs up. Chemical stressors, pollution, emotional stressors, all have an impact on our health. And when you remove those stressors and those toxins from your environment, and you give your body the proper nutrition, your body has an amazing ability to heal itself. Through seminars and online resources, the Biological Medicine Network is working to educate the public about the innovative treatment options available to build holistic health and wellness in an increasingly toxic world. 
when we have discussions with our patients, we talk about what they're eating, what they're putting on their skin. We try to, you know, really talk to them about minimizing their toxicity in their environment, in their, in their houses, their cleaning products, anything that's going to be, you know, assaulting the body that is going to make it work harder, we want to try and lessen. Biologic medicine is really all about understanding how the body works, making it work better, understanding the underlying causes of problems and help to resolve those for optimization. It just seems to me just a much more rational approach to have somebody looking at it that is looking at how everything's functioning together. We're looking at the whole organism, and we're looking at the regulation of the organism. So we're not necessarily looking to suppress symptoms. Symptoms actually are an expression of the body saying something's going on inside that's out of balance and needs attention. When you look at today's medicine, the most sold remedy is anti-anti-cholesterol. And the second most group is antidepressant. And the third is the antibiotics. It's the anti-approach for these diseases wrong. We have to approach from another side. Rather than working to suppress symptoms with pharmaceutical drugs, in biological medicine, the patient's symptoms are used as clues to solving the underlying issues. Pain is a signal of the body and we have to find the cause instead of do anti-pain treatment. Or inflammation is, is also a, segment, a signal of, the, of a healthy body that, that there is something to process. And we have to find what does the body want to process. It's just a different thinking. We receive many phone calls and emails every day from chronically ill individuals who are affected by cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, Lyme disease, anything degenerative and inflammatory, they really come to us as a last option. So many issues can affect the balance in the body and it really takes time and a relationship with the patient to help understand the underlying causes. This is basically what we did. In a biologic medicine practice, doctors often spend 30 to 60 minutes with patients to know them, know the underlying issues, become partners with the patients to help them become well. Using cutting edge testing and treatment techniques, along with individualized diets and natural supplements, biological medicine treatments can often reverse disease progression and put patients on a whole new path. The food part is really, really, really important. A month or so after I started um, eating all green, I felt better than I had in years. I think that people need to see it for themselves from outcomes. People with, like, have better energy, their allergy symptoms go away, the digestive gas and bloating resolves, their menstrual cycles become better, the skin clears up, eyes are whiter great benefits in, in sometimes very simple techniques. So many people are becoming 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. They're living longer, healthier lives and they're doing it by blending the best aspects of traditional modern medicine and preventative aspects of biologic medicine, really trying to incorporate both uh, facets of that. The goal is to just try to get my healthy cells to re reproduce faster than the unhealthy cells. My tumor markers have gone from 1,400 down to 30 um, in a year and a half, and each scan um, that I have just keeps getting progressively better and better. I had bone metastasis throughout like most of my skeleton, skull, sternum, spine, ribs. And at my scan last month, there was just one spot visible on one rib. It's right down the rib. I'm getting really, really good results. For almost 20 years, the Biological Medicine Network has been leading the charge to expand understanding of biological medicine in North America, educating patients and practitioners about this essential form of holistic individualized healing, building a network of local providers, 
and offering patient coordination services to treatment facilities in North America and around the world. Any organ in the body has a rebuilding capacity. It's just a different thinking. This is why my slogan is, if you want to treat differently, you have to think differently. We have to approach from another side. There's a lot more hope in the biological medicine world. Um, you know, with my diagnosis, you know, I'm still repeatedly being told that, you know, this is not something that you survive. But I feel when I'm with Dr. Rao over there, they really believe that you can do it and that they're just looking at everything really in depth and, you know, they want to make sure that there's just nothing standing in your way of trying to fight it. I think the best possible thing would be if people got to biological medicine before they actually had a health problem. My life now is so different than it was a year and a half ago and like really so much for the better. No one has a family member that hasn't been touched by some illness and, and people are really searching and hoping and, and, and finding answers that are not as traditional as they have been. The way that the situation is right now with insurance and everything, I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there that think, well, you know, yes, that's nice, but, you know, I can't, I can't afford to do that. I think about that every time I go and every time I have to pack. There's a lot of stress having to leave my family, so it would just be amazing if, if something like this existed close by. I have two more cucumbers. I think that people are really at a point now where they're, they're starting to see that, um, that there is more out there. You know, that we don't have to accept things the way that they are. Imagine if there were a place in the United States where people could go and actually be treated to experience this type of healing and transformation in a condensed period of time. It would be just an absolute dream for me to know that that was possible for people. <laughs>